SEC Media Days 2016 officially in the books. Welcome to TV24's Primetime Sports. I'm Gerhard Mathangani, joined alongside Chase Robinson in Hoover. Chase, the final three teams on the block today. First off, South Carolina. You know, Will Muschamp, South Carolina's new coach. He's been to Media Days before, but he made his return today. Muschamp, he's taken over a team who only had three wins last season and only one win in conference play. So for the Gamecocks, it's about moving forward. I don't really get caught up into a, to a year ago uh, as far as what happened. I met with every player on the team when I got into Columbia. Uh, there was no doubt this was a beaten down group as far as their, 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 their uh, mental approach to football, to South Carolina. Uh, I told all of our guys uh, a positive attitude doesn't guarantee you anything in life, but a negative one does. We're building a roar, slowly but surely. Um, we're going to show up September 1st. And I think you're going to see an entirely different football team. There's no way anybody can prepare for us because they've never seen us like this before. With Coach Muschamp being a defensive-minded coach, that's exactly what the Gamecocks need. And so for the players so far, they're seeing some big changes in defensive style. I'd say it's more, more technical than anything. Um, knowing your keys, knowing your assignments, the little things matter. Um, knowing that the linebacker is supposed to be a – in this area at a certain time, just as well as a, a D lineman knowing where he's going on a certain play. Next up, the Ole Miss Rebels. Now, despite a 10-3 and season and a victory in the Sugar Bowl, the talk surrounding the club has been about off-the-field issues. The NCAA is conducting an investigation into 13 allegations of misconduct. Freeze talked about those sanctions and says that he believes the program is on good footing. Ultimately, we're going to be held accountable for anything, any wrongdoing. I, I would assure you that the NCAA has done a thorough job in investigating every single claim that, that has come against us. And uh, so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll be held, held accountable for that at that time. And hopefully our, our staff has, uh, will be found to have followed my suit. And, and, uh, but there are things that we're going to have to answer for, and, that we, and we will. On the field, the team is looking to take yet another step forward. Chad Kelly is back under center for a senior season with more than 4,000 yards and 31 touchdowns on his resume. The mentality definitely is different. I want to go out there and prove that I am the best. And um, with that, I want to bring the team around me to provide them that they know that they are the best too. And as long as everybody has a great mentality, you can accomplish a lot of things. And that's what we're looking to do is to be the best team in college football. Now, one big point of pride for the Rebels is two straight wins over Alabama. They say in order to have a complete season, they'll need more consistency throughout the year. You can't take, a, take your eyes off anybody, um, especially once you're, once you're a team that's stating your dominance and, and becoming successful and high in the rankings and, and winning big games. You have a huge target on your back. So the teams are more excited and more ready and more eager to play and, and, and perform well again. So um, it's definitely something that we want to we kind of get better at as being consistent and finishing week by week. The LSU Tigers, the final team to take the Mike here at Media Days. And at the end of their season last year, the job status of Les Miles was questionable after their 9-3 and three season, all of those losses coming to SEC teams. But the coach says there's still no more added pressure this season. I have never felt a, uh, an overriding pressure any differently than the first day. So uh, I... Uh, I've always enjoyed my attachment to my team, my coaches, and I've enjoyed representing LSU tremendously. One big name returning for the Tigers this season is running back Leonard Fournette, who put up amazing numbers last season and at one point was in the Heisman conversation. And the guys and Coach Miles talked about how important Leonard is to this team. Of course, he can run the ball. He can block and pass protection. Uh, you know, when he runs routes, he looks like a receiver. Crazy combination of speed and power. And, uh, you know, he's just continuing to get better, continuing to grow as a football player. Anytime, you know, if we are around and some people come up to, to him for a picture, he'll be like, y'all not going to get in a picture too? I mean, so he, he does, does a great job of balancing that, that status that he has and incorporating it of being a team leader and a team guy. You're going to give Leonard Fournette a certain number of carries, period. Off of that, certainly, those play actions which should be really good. And you should get a, a serious number of cover one coverages, single high coverages, and so you'll have some one-on-one -on, -one on the perimeter you should be able to take advantage of. And the media's predicted order of finish for the Southeastern Conference 2016 season came out, and it's kind of interesting, Gerhard. Absolutely. The Tennessee Volunteers, look at their number one 
in the SEC East, but Chase is the defending national champions on top. And the defending SEC champions, the Alabama Crimson Tide, uh, picked to win the West as well as the championship. It should be noted that just five times since 1992, the media has made this pick correctly. So we'll see how it all shakes out this year. Tennessee and Alabama, the favorites from here in Hoover.